Are you sexy? Um, my girlfriend thinks so. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes I do feel sexy. Yeah. <laughs> I think I am. Maybe, but I don't feel it. I think sexy and sexual are different. And I am quite sexual, but sexy, I think, is someone else's choice uh, and not my own. Are you good in bed? Yes, I am very good in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, due to chronic illness, I spend a lot of time there, so I guess there is... Uh, I've got practice. Sometimes I'm very in my head and it's not working, and sometimes I give the best of me, so... My girlfriend thinks so. <laughs> How important is sex to you in a relationship? It's important, but it's not the most important thing. I mean, I struggle at the moment because of the medication I'm on and my own mental health issues to have a sex drive. I think it's quite important, I think, a question that I ask one of my disabled friends is that isn't every relationship that disabled people have an intimate relationship because we're connected so intimately to, to everybody and everything around us. So it's just, I think every relationship disabled people have is an intimate relationship. Would you say that as a man in a, a cis-hetero relationship, there's a pressure to initiate sex or be dominant in the bedroom? For sure. Not pressure as such. No, not a little bit. I don't think as a good man it should be expected and that you should speak to your partner about what what they want. Yeah, I think I think we're still very much in that old Victorian way of thinking. Heteronormativity, um, I kind of spend a lot of time counteracting that because even like sexually I kind of what they say top from the bottom. <laughs> I'm always in charge. What do you think is a normal amount of times to masturbate a week? Um, like a week or a day? <laughs> Seven. Do you use sex toys? Um, <laughs> again, being the way I am physically, uh, I have used sex toys pretty much from the beginning of my sexual experience. I certainly do. I'm discovering many new ways of exploring my body, so it's becoming a new friends, new best friends. Yeah. Do you think there's a stigma tied to cis-hetero men using sex toys? Oh yeah, for sure. Many men don't allow themselves to explore their sexuality just because society has a label about who can explore. Things have changed a lot, things are still a long way to go, but um, we're a quantum uh, further towards acceptance uh, today than we were even 10 years ago. Yes, and especially as a cis male, it's seen as, you know, our, our orgasms are seen as the punchline of a joke.